What's up, everybody? Drew right back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about two mini dev updates that were just released in the NDA Discord. I am redoing this video because I initially thought that there was only one, but there's actually two. So we're just going to go ahead and play the first one that I saw initially right now. So the first half of this is a guy that's walking around the new police station with a Glock, I believe. And if there's anything that I really want to say about this police station, it's that it looks pretty damn good. If there's anything of note, I would say that it seems like there's a lot of like objects that shouldn't be here. As in there's like a lot of clutter that should be put away, but it seems like they're too busy to worry about that type of thing. Because we got like these crates that are kind of just out in the open that I feel like should be in a storage room somewhere. As he's walking over to the right here, we see like a bunch of stuff that's just kind of like out here. It's actually not as dirty as I thought it would, but there is a couple of things that kind of confuse me, like seeing clutter that's over here with a dummy on the floor and stuff that should be in the shooting range that is supposed to be in the police station somewhere. But I guess they don't care about that because it's world building. These cops just don't have enough time to keep it clean, probably. I know you can't read it, but I, I remember it saying SWAT units. And then he stops in the middle of the floor before going either left or right. Create widows something. Bring order to chaos. I'm not sure what that says up there. But yeah, we take a look at our phone which is called a ATAC according to a lot of my subscribers. From my understanding this phone is called a Android Team Awareness Kit? ATAC? Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong but uh, yeah. It's interesting how they attach what looks like a phone to me on their chest. In my personal opinion is probably bad place to put it seeing as how people tend to aim for the chest but whatever i think it's a cool spot for the uh, planning phase here and this is what we're going to be looking at so looks like there's a message up at the top left here we got a roster at the bottom left which obviously shows off probably who's ever in the lobby or ai yeah, swan officers underneath this is the briefing phase which is obviously going to give a lot of context to each map that you're going into underneath that is the map which i wonder is also a place where you can choose which map you want to go on to but to the right of it is actually the floors of the map so this is the first floor plan map that they're showing here initially i thought that this was actually the police station like they're showing off uh, what the police station looks like the interior but this is actually the valley of the dolls which i realized like towards the middle of the previous video that i now deleted but yeah this is the first floor of valley of the dolls i know this because that map is basically ingrained in my head that map is basically ingrained into my head at this point it's probably one of the harder maps in ready or not you get a better look at this it says storage theater kitchen living room great room open to the above open to the above on the right there then he goes up to the second floor which obviously has the bar patio office lounge oh my god i remember this freaking place this is like the worst place to possibly be i almost always die in this area because they have like every angle on me whatsoever this is just the worst spot to be i always try to avoid this as much as possible i do like how it says entry point zero because you don't really you know get in from the second floor unless you had like the ladder from previous updates but you know they're probably want to read that again who knows but yeah so we got to look at the third floor here we got the guest room the hall master bedroom master bedroom bathroom ba bath yeah i've done this map like so many times that i freaking just know this like the back of my head at this point that's odd it said we have zero entry points and then i was a bit confused about that because we have one right here but then as the time went on it kind of just like disappears so so what what does that mean oh well, that's that's a little odd well anyways that's pretty cool um initially i was wondering are they gonna add any way to draw on this and um well that's what this next video is for Let's take a look at it big low so yeah this is the second video it does this is still valley of the dolls house here he drove a little among us among us thing here but what's interesting is this is this a part of the game this at the bottom right i feel like it's not but i could be wrong he's holding control so i guess control is the way to actually draw here hold control and left click among us so that answered my question that i had in the previous video that's pretty awesome that we're going to be able to draw stuff i definitely cannot wait again the only thing that i really hope is that we're able to just start the match like wherever other players are so i don't have to run on the way back to you know the, the area where we start matches i hope that's a thing i hope they implement that but uh yeah but what are your guys' thoughts let me know what you think down below and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye 
I would just like to take the time to thank my amazing supporters, starting with Fear Operative, Brigadier24, Divine Demigod, Hazel, True Forever. You guys are what keeps the dream alive. If you would like to become a part of this list, become a member or join the Patreon to keep the channel going. Thank you all for coming out to watch and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.